nine minutes to seven. Every night in truck stops across the UK, organised crime gangs are stealing from lorries. That's according to the Road Haulage Association, and it needs to stop. James Barwise is policy advisor at the RHA. Good morning. Good morning. What, what are you arguing for? What, what needs to change? Well, essentially, the what we're seeing now um, across the country cannot continue. Last year, there were over 5,300 incidents, incidents of freight crime and £68 million of goods stolen. And that's not a victimless crime. It has a huge effect on drivers, their mental health and their job dissatisfaction, as well as a knock-on effect for businesses and local economies. So we're calling upon the government to act now because without intervention, this is only going to get worse. And, and what would be that intervention that you're looking for? So for starters, we would like to hear more from the new Transport Secretary, Louise Haig, um, about her, her support for our industry. Um, before the election and throughout, we at the RHA have been leading on a piece of work bringing together other trade associations, stakeholders, councils on working on a road facilities task force. Now, this is looking at how we can deliver more safe and secure lorry parking. And we've been able to share evidence and intelligence and work from the police. But without systems from the government, that can't turn into meaningful change as in more parking spaces and more high quality roadside facilities. So we welcome support for that from the Department for Transport. And then on freight crime specifically, we need the chance to discuss with the Home Secretary Yvette Cooper how to better recognise the impact of freight crime um, through making freight crime a specific offence. Currently, if you steal goods from the back of the truck, that you will be prosecuted under the same legislation you would from stealing through a local shop. So if you create a new offence for freight crime, you're able to attach more appropriate sentence, sentencing to it, and then it serves as more of a deterrent. So, so gangs target service stations or truck stops. They, there's detail here in, in your report, slashing lorry curtains until they find a valuable load. Uh, mm -hmm. what, we, what would you actually need to happen to secure the area? So there's a, a couple of things there. First of all, what we're seeing is that across the country, we have a woeful chronic shortage of secure parking spaces uh, to the tune of 11,000. So most drivers aren't actually parking in truck stops. They're parking up in laybys on the side of the road, and that means they're So they're, they're vulnerable. It, and, and just for, for our purposes of time, what was the other point? Um, so essentially, we need to improve, for those who can make into truck stops, we need to improve the standards um, we really support the park mark freight standards that is advocated by the British Parking Association. And we're looking forward to working with the Home Office to ensure that this standard is adopted by MSAs up and down the country who provide truck parking. James Barwise, thank you for that.